Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. I am delighted to have uh, Amanji with us uh, once again, and uh, today he is going to enlighten us on Shravan Nakshatra. And Mars is hovering around in Shravan Nakshatra currently, and he is dominating the current conjunction, which is happening in the sign of Capricorn, Jupiter. Mars and Saturn are in Capricorn and because Mars is exalted in Capricorn so he has the most say and he is in Shravana and recently he entered Shravana but in general even if you have any planets in Shravana Nakshatra or especially your Sun, Moon, Ascendant, the Ascendant Lord or by some Nakshatra systems you are running Shravana Nakshatra which is activated for you then you uh, you can watch this video. This will be very informative. And uh, even if you don't have any planets in Shravan, even then you have Shravan Nakshatra in your horoscope in the sign of Capricorn, depending on the degree of your ascendant. All right. So therefore, this video will be very informative, and a lot of spiritual stuff is also there because this is related to Lord Vishnu. So I won't uh, speak much, and the stage is yours. Welcome to Exotic Astrology. Namaskar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's been a long time that we have seen each other. I often watch your videos and uh, <laughs> they're always lovely and we get so much of wisdom from that. So thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you for having me. Thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity. So it's a, it's a, because what I was thinking, what nakshatra, because I only know very little on nakshatra. So it has to be related to nakshatras. So what nakshatra should I do with Baba Jiji on, on his channel? First, I thought of Rohini because he's a big Krishna devotee. So, but then I thought I have already done that nakshatra recently on my channel. So let's do something, something uh, more which has to uh, do with the masses. Because this nakshatra, Shravana nakshatra is all about masses. Dealing with masses, having a connection with masses, having a links between the masses. And also it is one of the Tiru nakshatras, nakshatras where the Trinity himself, Lord Vishnu, is the deity. And uh, so let's begin, sir. Again, thank you for this opportunity. I hope that people will get some idea about Shravana because most of the planets... And this particular nakshatra also falls in the Capricorn sign, where Saturn is right now, where Mars is, just like you have mentioned, and also the Jupiter. It is a very important nakshatra and it is one. And the Capricorn sign is the sign of Dharma as well, where we do most of our karmas. That is why Saturn is involved in this nakshatra. So let me share my screen. So can you see my screen, sir? Yeah, perfectly. Perfect. Okay. So before we start, it's a very small presentation, but it will give you a lot of good information. And it will also give you a lot of techniques or a, a lot of points where you can do your own research and come up with more techniques. And that is the whole purpose of this presentation. But there are a few disclaimers which I want to uh, give out before I start. That this is solely based on my interpretation. And nowhere even Baba Ji is saying or nor I am saying that we are correct. We can be wrong. And human beings are mostly these days are wrong. Only him is right. So I might be wrong. I do apologize in advance for that. But it is a very small attempt. But it will give you a good information. And some information regarding the Shravana, which most of you must have not heard about it before. So let's start, sir. Om Vasudevaya Namaha. Let's start with his own name and we are in Thursday today. So what a perfect timing I was thinking to do this Nakshatra. So as we all know, um, Shravana deity is Lord Vishnu. It is one of the symbols. And each and every nakshatra has a lot of symbols. We all, sometimes we get stick to one symbol, but there are few other symbols as well. So arrow is also one uh, symbol for this. Trishul 
is also considered one of the uh, symbol uh, for this nakshatra and we can always learn a lot just from the symbology point of view so as we all know it is the pervading energy of lord vishnu okay so we all know it falls from 10 degrees 0 minutes to 23 degrees 20 minutes solely on the capricorn side it is all it is a very best basic uh presentation i have done so that everyone can relate to it even though they want to do it in their later time most of the points are very self explanatory and i have put it in a very simple language so that everybody can understand and uh, uh, can be on the same page what we are trying to explain here so i will repeat few of the points and we will go ahead <clears throat> so deity we all know it is the lord vishnu who is the preserver the one who can travel the world in the even in the vaman story in his three steps so one who is the brahma we all know brahma ji came out from his nabi from his belly button mahesha who is also himself so we all know that lord moon who is the ruling planet for this nakshatra and one who causes the tides in the ocean we all know that moon is responsible for that and similarly it churns our mind regularly constantly each and every day to bring out either the state of consciousness or ignorance which we show both sides also depending upon the waxing and the waning side of the moon so that is the ruling side a uh, ruling planet for this nakshatra okay so what exactly the shravana means so the shravana means on a metaphorical level meaning to hear the truth we all know that uh, the symbol for this nakshatra is ear and we will uh, discuss more on that in the latest slide and what is that hearing the truth and what is that the connection between the jiva atma atma and the jiva atma leading to the liberation which we all want everybody uh, these days want the moksha and the liberation so it is a very important nakshatra all the nakshatras are very important but here the lord vishnu himself is coming as a ceo of the company so it it has more say to it and not to forget the capricorn sign is one of the foundation of the uh, what you call the 14710 houses so it is a very important uh, house and the nakshatra so connecting of atma to jiva atma leading to the liberation connecting us to the parmatma inside and it was very interesting baba ji ji to find the shrav in the fijian language because i have lot of fijian friends here in canada it also means the gift of god wow so i find it very interesting to put this uh, point in the slide okay so what is the shakti because shakti is very important to understand in each and every nakshatra only then we can decipher more about it so the shakti behind this nakshatra is it's called samana shakti the power to connect again the connection so for these natives the connection is the most if you cannot connect with them on a emotional level or on a uh, um, physical level or you can say on a financial level because connection also has meaning on a materialistic level it will be the connection of resources between the two parties but on a spiritual level or on a inner level it would be to understand the deeper meaning of the maya jal the maya which is happening are deep inside in our body again to connect with the paramatma to find the appropriate path in life the hidden path in life that is the shakti of this nakshatra so again very self explanatory so let's move on to the next slide so the it is a principal star uh, astronomically it is called the altair and the head of acula which is the eagle so eagle has a very prominent which i will try to connect with the later slides 
which I will try to connect with Garuda, Lord Garuda, which is the Vahan of the Trinity, which is the Vahan of Lord Vishnu. And why he became the Vahan of Vishnu, we will discuss that too. And also the Altair in Arabic means the flying eagle. So the symbol, again, just like I mentioned, a lot of nakshatras have few other symbols. We only stick to one, but we should always consider why a particular symbol is given to a particular nakshatra, why a particular bird is given to a particular nakshatra, why a particular animal is assigned to a particular nakshatra. There has to be some logic that why Lord Vishnu got attracted to Lord Garuda. Why not to peacock? Why not to any other animal? There has to be some science. There has to be some logic. And we will discuss more about that. So the symbol ear, again, just like I mentioned, to hear, which, which all means to hear the truth, to keep our ears open. That is one of the symbols. The arrow, again, the arrow signifies many things. The arrow can also signify the movement which is very focused, going in a particular direction. And also, the arrow also signifies the pervading energy of Lord Vishnu, which we have discussed on, uh, on the initial uh, slide. And what is the three footsteps? Everybody know the mythological story of Mahabali and Vaman of Tarji, which is associated with Shravana. But today we will not discuss about that. We will discuss rather some more interesting points because everybody knows about that. And we all know that he took three steps in order to balance the situation of that time. So what that these three footsteps signifies, it, in my interpretation, it can signify the connection between the first two steps and also it can signify that because he already got everything in the two steps, what was the three, third step for? It can, three steps can also signify the growing learning again or the movement again. Because if you can uh, recall the story of uh, Vaman of Tarji, he was go, uh, putting one foot to the another, which also shows the movement. And Babaji ji, have you seen this particular uh, footprints in India? I'm pretty sure you must have and a lot of our Indian viewers. Basically, I have used this uh, image here in order to remind myself this footstep belongs to Mata Lakshmi, which we use in most of the at the Diwali time or in the lot of in lot of homes also in India, you will find this two footsteps. And it shows, it signifies the two footsteps of Mata Lakshmi signifies the steady wealth in the house. That's why they keep it. So also we can say the third footstep can also means the growing prosperity coming into our life. So it can have many meanings. So we just have to interpret it more. We have to decipher more. We should not as a student of Jyotish, as a student of Nakshatra, we should not stick only to one definition. There has to be more deep meanings about it and we should always uh, look more into that. So Shravna, the birth star of Vaman Avtar, it is believed, fifth incarnation of Lord Vishnu, which we all know. Who is Hari again? The one who takes away all the pain and sorrow. So for those, including myself, who are too worried about this COVID situation, don't worry. Everything will be over in due time. It is just the churning I have mentioned. It is happening. But do not panic. Do not lose hope. Everything will be fine. And also it is believed. So it is the birth star of Mata Saraswati. Many of the texts also says that. So we can also see from this nakshatra that these natives especially people who are having prominent planets in Shravana Nakshatra, they have a very deep hunger for knowledge. They want to learn more and more. And that's what I have seen a lot of natives. I know personally a lot of natives having the Shravana Nakshatra. Either they will have a lot of knowledge about Vedas 
or they have a lot of hunger in order to get that knowledge. And the prime example which comes to my mind is Jupiter in Shravana, which it will be next year also and Jupiter is in Capricorn sign, not exactly in Shravana. So the hunger is more in these natives. They always want more. Okay, so what is the animal symbol associated with this nakshatra? It is female monkey. And again, we can just from the monkey, lot of things we can observe, we can learn. Feel free, Baba Jiji, to interrupt me. If you have some more points to share, don't hesitate. Monkey, we can learn many things. I was just thinking, monkey connects me to Lord uh, Hanuman. And Lord Ram, Nakshatra is Punarvasu, and we are talking about Shravana. So the first connection I can make is their compatibility will be very good. Compatibility of Shravana natives with the Punarvasu natives, it would be good. We can say that on a general terms. Again, compatibility is a very big theme. Do not go just by the Nakshatra. It has many steps in it, many hierarchy in it. But on a general term, we can say that. Also, the sacred bird associated with uh, this nakshatra is crane. We will learn more about that. What are the interesting points which crane symbolizes connect us to the Shravana nakshatra? We, we will learn on the later slide. Okay, what is the desire again? To hear good things. The hear the truth. And that's what I have seen in this they only want to hear the good part of uh, themselves. They are not very good in taking critics. That I have seen, if I have seen 10 charts of Sharavna, consistent theme of that. They love hearing good things about themselves. So if it's afflicted, clearly we can see that they cannot take the um, um, critic part. They will be very hesitant. Okay, so body parts are very important because uh, nakshatra, each nakshatra has the body part. So in, in this, it is ears and the sexual organs. And consistently, you will not uh, believe, Babaji Ji, if I see third lord, sixth lord, in connection with Shravana, eight out of 10 times ear problems, sexual problems, Wow. Or problems related to urination. Consistent theme with Shravana natives I have seen. So it is very important to connect with the body parts associated. So right now, okay, let me give you a real life example. Right now, just how many planets are there in Capricorn? Three, three planets. And the day three planets came, you will not believe myself. Myself, I was having leg issues because the Capricorn sign, also uh, the Capricorn sign, not the Nakshatra sign, the Capricorn sign of the uh, uh, of uh, of this sign also uh, shows the gait, your legs. Okay. So my legs were hurting for the first few days. Now it is better. Wow. So suddenly, if someone is look at the transit, so daily transits. The nakshatra, they are going over your natal chart. It is very important to observe because people think, why I'm having this uh, sudden problem in my life? Look at the nakshatra uh, going over your natal uh, moon or natal sun or uh, your mahadasha lot. You will suddenly encounter those problems, which will be temporary, but it will go away. But why we are getting it? As a student of Jyotish, as a student of uh, uh, nakshatra, it is very good to observe. All these things. Okay, so I will just give you a gist what this slide is all about. This I took it from a Garur Puran. So I have not made this story. It is mentioned there in the Garur Puran. And whatever I'm uh, going to mention in these slides, I have learned it from the classical text and, and from the research of the very scholarly people, very learned people. So Garud in the Hinduism, which is the Vahan of Lord Vishnu and why he got that status in life, it is very important to understand. And what is the connection 
of the qualities of garuda coming into the shravana natives as well that you will see in each and every nakshatra other than shravana for example another example for chitra it is tiger so the qualities of tiger you will see how the qualities of the animal symbol of the animal symbology is coming into the natives as well so this we will discuss in this slide that garuda is known for keenness again the curiosity uh, to know things swiftness service divinity devotion all in garuda which we can find in shravana natives as well and how he became the vahana this is the story which i will tell you in just that we all know that garuda was born from a sage named kashap and with his wife vanita vanita so he was from the he was a vanita son and during this time vanita was captured by the other wife of a uh, 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 sage kashap whose name was kadru and his step and from uh, kadru uh, he had uh, many other sons those are called uh, snakes naga sarpas we can say that so they were the step brothers of the garuda so very key points here so they had some kind of a shart which we call it in uh, in hindi they had some kind of a wager happening at the time of samundra mantha and at that time garuda mother vinata was slaved by kadru by deceit she did some uh, uh, some false thing she lost the wager and because of that uh, deceit she won uh, that wager and because of that in the ransom she wanted garuda to bring the elixir the amrit in order to become the mortal so he went to indralok in order to get that he defeated all the indra soldiers along with the gods he was that powerful this is another theme garuda was that powerful so same you can see in shravana natives they can be how powerful they can be so he defeated the indra's army imagine so but he knew that uh, kadru's got my mother by deceit but he showed his cleverness even though he defeated all the army and got the elixir but never gave it to kadru okay he never gave it to kadru and with his cleverness which we can see which we can correlate with the vaman avatar as well how with his cleverness he conquered the three steps he did the three steps so they are very clever people as well shravana natives so other than the knowledge they have the cleverness also so without hand, handling over the nectar got his mother vinata and vishnu noticed all this and he got so impressed that even though having the elixir for 12 days and 12 days at that time was 12 years of human years that he did not touch the amrit he did not uh, took the amrit for his own uh, uh, immortality he was very impressed and then asked garuda that can you become my vahan and he was agreed to it but he said i only have two conditions to it first that my name should be held above you and which we can see in vishnu temples as well in india the first temple i encountered was lord jagannath where the uh, uh, where i saw the garuda was much higher than the jagannath temple yeah, in south the india they have this garuda stamba that yes that the dwaj pillar yes yes and the second shart was the uh, the condition was that without drinking the immortal uh, uh, the elixir i should be immortal wow But vishnu granted those uh, those two uh, wishes and then he became the vahan of garuda so it is a very so the moral of the story is the traits of shravana natives which we see in garuda will always be there yes why certain animals are becoming birds why garuda became the vahan of lord vishnu 
there has to be some logical reasoning very important to understand and from there you can get more traits and more techniques and also i was doing the research so this for the western audios i want to show this is the vishnu dwaj where uh, garuda image is there which i could not put it in this post because already the slide was too full so it is very important the mythology is very important so let's come to the another mythology again it's a very uh, small one there was a sparrow who laid her eggs at the uh, shore of the ocean and the ocean took her eggs and naturally the sparrow got very upset and she said the ocean give me my eggs back but the ocean said no you are not getting your eggs back <laughs> then she said she was so determined and she said okay so if you not giving me my egg eggs back with my small beak i will dry up your ocean so everybody start laughing that how stupid stupidity is that like how such how you can do such a impossible job and the news of that got uh, got the ears of uh, garuda as well garuda heard that news and he was so impressed that such a small bird has given uh, determined such a big job such a big task which is next to impossible he was so impressed and he was so pleased by the determination of the small sparrow and then he promised to help that sparrow and then garud dev asked the ocean that you should spare her eggs and you should return the eggs otherwise i will take this job and do the needful naturally the ocean got very uh, scared and, and thus uh, she got the sparrow got the x back so again you can again what we can learn from this story is the compassionate side the determination side of shravana natives of garuda going to the shravana natives this is why why have i have put these two slides for mythology other than the vaman of avatar because everybody knows the story of vaman avatar i thought i should put something new which would be more interesting that why certain animal symbology is coming to the shravana natives the quality of that so this is one of one of those so this is why mythology connected with each nakshatra is very important so if you want to learn more about it you can do it in your uh, later time that is why i have put it in a presentation this was a very interesting point so these are some of the interesting facts baba ji ji the garuda the divine eagle is the symbol of divinity connected to lord vishnu and we all know divinity vishnu we are talking about shravana it has to be there 